hydrohalogenation of alkynes. Recall that with alkenes, when we treat with a halo acid like HBr, HCl, or HI, we get the Markovnikov product. In the first step, the pi bond acts as a base, does proton transfer on the acid, creates a carbocation in the more stable position, and then the bromine can attack that carbocation. When you include peroxide, you go through a radical mechanism and you create the anti-Markovnikov. Note that to see a difference in regiochemistry, we need to work with terminal alkynes because otherwise there's no difference in substitution. In the triple bond in a terminal alkyne, one side is unsubstituted and the other is monosubstituted. With an internal alkyne, as shown here, both of the triple bonded carbons are monosubstituted. So we can only apply Markovnikov and anti-Markovnikov when we're talking about the terminal alkynes. With the internal alkynes, however, since both sides are monosubstituted, there is no basis for regioselectivity, and the words Markovnikov and anti-Markovnikov have no meaning. Still, when we have a terminal alkyne like the one shown here, and we react it with a single equivalent of a halo acid, right, HX here could be HI, HCl, or HBr, we end up with a vinyl halide. Vinyl, this word right here. That means that it's one of the double bonded carbons that has the halogen. That's the vinylic position. If we look at the rate law, the rate of the reaction depends on the rate constant K times the concentration of the substrate, right, that's the alkyne there, times the concentration of the acid squared. This implies that the rate limiting step has a threefold molecular collision between one molecule of the substrate and two molecules of the reagent. Now, this is not a sure thing, but a proposed mechanism that makes sense is for the halogen on one equivalent of acid to attack in the Markovnikov position and then the pi bond to take a proton from another equivalent of the acid, forming this transition state where this bond is breaking, this bond is forming, this bond is forming, and this bond is breaking. To give you your vinyl halide. If we react a terminal alkyne with two equivalents of halo acid, we get the geminal dihalide. Geminal for twin, referring to both of the halogen atoms adding in the same position, the geminal dihalide. An anti-Markovnikov vinyl bromide can be achieved if you take a terminal alkyne, react it with one equivalent of hydrobromic acid and peroxide, but you get a mixture of the E and Z isomers at 82% efficiency. The mechanism is not understood. But now we have a way to shuttle back and forth between an alkyne and an alkyl dihalide. We react the alkyne with excess halo acid to get the dihalide. That's the upper pathway here. We can then take the dihalide and react it with excess sodium amide followed by water 
to go back to the alkyne.